You see what happens when I start being an athlete again? <laughs> hey guys, it's your girl Delio with PhiladelphiaEagles.com and my Philadelphia Eagles are facing the Washington the Washington football team this week and uh, Washington is one and two matching records with my Eagles but they are coming off of a loss versus the Giants whereas we are coming off a win versus the Jets so I kind of like the momentum we have going into this game now the Eagles were far from perfect last week but uh, what we did see was a spark in their run game something that we really needed to witness um, both as fans and as players uh, to help boost the confidence of this offense. But what's still lacking, and I'm hoping to see an improvement this week, is the trust between quarterback and wide receiver. So I'm keeping my eye on Aguilar this week. He's been absent these first three weeks, and now's the time for him to show up. And also, having another wide receiver step up is something that we desperately need. And if that happens, then that will definitely boost uh, Sam Bradford's confidence to make bigger plays, take control of this offense, and actually close out games. And if the defense just keeps doing what they're doing, we'll be in a good position to win this game. Now, a couple of things to look out for are, uh, number one, the weather. Uh, the game was almost postponed because of a hurricane a possible hurricane that was in the area, but looks as though we are cleared to play, but that means it might still be a rainy, muddy NFC battle out there on the field. So uh, weather, especially rainy weather, can always uh, make the ball slippery and make games interesting. So I'm that's one thing to look out for. Another thing is the Eagles kicker uh, is out for the season with a groin strain. So we picked up a new guy. His name is Caleb Sturgish from formerly with the Dolphins. And you know what? I just hope to God this game is not up to the kicker. I will be absolutely terrified if that happens because, uh, you know, me and my, <sighs> my nervousness when it comes to our kickers. So uh, let's hope that, you know, it, it's not down to field goal for this game. But lastly, another thing is the the Washington football team. They have, you know, a good run game and a good run defense. So that's really going to put our uh, offense and defense to the test, being able to match what Washington's strengths are. So uh, that's really it. And we have DeMarco Murray and Michael Kendricks who are probably going to play this game. Uh, they're not 100%. We haven't gotten the 100% okay, but they're probable. And uh, Kiko is still out, but the good news is he will only be out for like a month or so. So the knee injury was not as serious as it could have been. So thank God, let's keep him healthy uh, and let's get him back on the field soon, but not too soon. Don't force it, guys. Uh, and lastly, uh, I know everyone wants to know, is Deshaun Jackson going to play this game? Well, he hasn't practiced all week, and uh, but he hasn't been ruled out either. So I think it's just going to be one of those game day decisions where we just will see him or we won't. Uh, me personally, I'd like to see him out there on the field. I don't want you guys to have an excuse. So that's really it. But uh, anyways, uh, I am going to close out with a shout out to Arthur Jones. He's sent me a bunch of videos this week. Uh, thank you for that. Uh, and also a bet proposal. Now, I didn't know, you sent me the bet proposal on Facebook, and I'm not able to download videos through Facebook when it's somebody else's video. So in the future, if people want to send me bets, uh, first of all, um, send it through video, preferably a YouTube video, or if you have my number like Mark Vader does, send it directly through text message. And um, yeah, I will show it and let you know if I accept it or not, if it's a decent bet proposal. Now, Arthur, with your bet proposal, it was, if I remember correctly, it's something along the lines of I would have to wear a Redskins bikini or something like that. So uh, my boy Cattle Dog, you already know how I feel about these types of bets because I went off on you during my first season. So Arthur Jones, no, I will not be doing a swimsuit bet proposal. Um, first of all, because it's just a lopsided bet. I mean, 
you know, you guys are always trying to say stuff like that. But you know what? Here's what I'll say. The only time I will ever be in a bikini in a video or in that type of manner uh, will be when the Eagles win a Super Bowl. Okay? So that's the only time. So y'all, if you really want to see that happen, you better start rooting for the Eagles to win that freaking Super Bowl. So um, I also have some other bet proposals uh, coming up that I'll probably share with you during the bye week. So I've already gotten some really good videos, um, but I haven't had a chance to, you know, edit and do all that good stuff with them. So um, that's it. Go birds. I'm ready for another win. Oh, lastly, uh, EDP is coming to hang out with me this Sunday. We're going to be at the Greyhound uh, Bar and Grill in Highland Park. So if you want to chill with us on game day and get our reactions and join me on the live stream, uh, if you're in the LA area, come join us. And if you need to know where it's at, give me a holla in the comments or on Twitter and I'll give you the details. Or you can just search Greyhound Bar and Grill on Highland Park and you'll find it there too. So that's it. Hopefully I'll see you guys on game day. And if not, I'll see you on the live stream. And that's it. It's your girl Delia with PhillyDailyEagles.com signing off. E-A-G-L-E-S, Eagles!